Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity to weigh in on this debate. Mr. Speaker, I would like to talk about the report, because um, I think that's what we're supposed to be discussing, what the report came up with in terms of BBI. Now, if we look at the report from public participation, of which majority of the House, being 30 honorable members, have elected, are elected in this House, and are people who represent individuals at various ward levels, um, and definitely performed public participation as did the nominated members, but more on us really, on the elected members. Now, if we read the report on public participation, page 12, page 13, page 14, yeah? If you can just go to... There are almost, almost in excess of 11 points or so, or thereabouts, I think it's 11, I counted. Um, let me have a look. Uh, no, it's not 11, it's 8 points that gear towards public participation coming back with a positive result towards the BBI bill. Now, the only negative thing about public participation in this report, which is only one point, is the fact that it is costly to the taxpayer. Now, I do not need to justify the BBI report because the report itself justifies it. Now, one thing we said as Wasingishu County we're going to place emphasis on is process. So we said we're going to table it, it's going to go to the committee. Very honorable chair, honorable Bundotich, is going to go to public participation. We're going to get results back from public participation and come and table them in the house. So we've done all this, right? And we've gotten that out of the entire report, public participation. As I've said, eight of the comments that are there substantiate BBI. So I'm not going to substantiate BBI based on gender, which of course is going to bring gender equality to the Senate. I'm not going to justify BBI based on the fact that um, you know, what Honorable Muya was talking about, CDF and so on and so forth. I'm not going to justify because the report itself justifies BBI. Now my question is this. If we're going to public participation for the people that we represent in Wasingishu County, and we're able to write a report saying that the people of Wasingishu County lean more towards BBI than maybe not BBI, why are we abstaining? The second point is this. Punguza Muzigo bill was not as significant to the people of the Republic of Kenya as the Constitutional Amendment Bill is. Why are we then turning around and using ethnicity, background, all these different words to justify the fact that we simply don't want to stand and give a yes and no vote? Why can't we just say, honorable members, you know your electorate. You are on the ground. You are in this house to represent your electorate. So when we abstain from voting for this electorate, then who's their voice in this house? Who's their voice? So my question is, while I, I, I completely and understand the angle that this report may choose to look at, it is not going to negate the fact they voted in various counties across the country. Name me one county that they went and had ethnic violence or whatever people have been talking about here. People went fought. It caused hot spots. Did you know what? Name me. If one thing I would like to do, I'd like to apologize for referring to honorable members as these people. Um, that I'll apologize for. But I think not so much ethnicity, but I guess inclusivity would be a better word than ethnicity. So I would like to also Proceed. withdraw that. So it's not the fact that, um, you know, I feel that we should vote just for the voters' sake. And I understand what our very able Chief Whipper said. That yes, this report right now is being discussed in Nairobi and is being done what? But that does not negate the right of honorable members in this house 
to vote for something that's going to affect the constitution, the, the, the constitution of the Republic of Kenya and the electorate, that tomorrow morning they're going to be going to their backyards and turning around and asking them, what is the way forward? So when you go and you ask for a vote and we are enabled in this house to lead, by example, then things become difficult. Uh, Mr. Speaker, in the sir. next uh, 30 seconds. Yes. So, Mr. Speaker, sir, with all due respect to the committee, Mr. Speaker, sir, I rise to strongly, strongly, strongly object to this report. Mr. Speaker, sir, I believe we live in a democracy where individuals are, right, are allowed to air their opinions. More thank, so, thank you, just thank finally, you. Sir, thank you. just finally, sir, finally, 10 seconds. I've taken John's 10 seconds, thanks. So, uh, <laughs> Just 10 seconds, sorry. But I just feel that, honestly, it would be so wrong for us not to vote as Wasingishu County for the people that we're here to serve. And tomorrow morning, go back to them after subjecting them to public participation, asking them their point of view, and not allowing their point of view to be aired by their honorable oh, members okay. in this house. Uh, okay, thank 10 you, seconds Mr. are over. Uh, thank you, thank you, Honorable Chenito.